Hello and welcome to my shop. This is my scroll saw. Now you've seen this scroll saw in different videos. I've done some intarges on it. Uh, I've also done a little bit of pin segmenting on it. And it is, it is one of my favorite tools. I think the lathe is my favorite and this would probably be my second favorite. One of the issues I have with it is I have probably a thousand blades. <laughs> Many of them are the same size as I buy them in gross. Uh, and I have just stacks and stacks of blades. They were thrown in a drawer in my toolbox and as I was cleaning through my toolbox, organizing a little bit, I noticed that some of them had gotten damaged. You know, scroll saw blades, they're very, very thin. Well, a while back, Mike Fulton, and I'm gonna put a link to Mike's channel in the comments below, sent me these, these tubes and they're the perfect length for scroll saw blades. What I need though is some type of a way to keep them all together. And here's what I came up with. When I was making my uh, racks for my, my pressure pot, I had some cutoffs. And here's a couple of little cutoffs. I cleaned them up over on the bandsaw. They are five and a half inches long by about three and three quarter inches deep. And what I'm gonna do is use a couple of brackets, just little angle brackets like these. I'll mount the bracket on the bottom of the shelf. And then the shelf is gonna get mounted right here to the post next to my scroll saw. That way, my blades are right by the saw within easy reach. I can take some labels, label each of these tubes so I know that this is a two-aught crown tooth or a two-aught skip tooth or a number five, whatever it happens to be. So while I'm cutting, if I break a blade, I can look up, grab a tube, pull a new blade out, and get going again. I think it's going to be a big help to the shop. This is just going to be a really simple project, and uh, I'm really looking forward to... Uh, having some place to keep my blades separate and safe. I taped both of my pieces of acrylic together and then I took my bracket and I found the center of the bracket and the center of the pieces of acrylic and I just scribed the circles uh, for the holes for my screws right onto the acrylic and I drilled a couple of really tiny pilot holes. Now what I'm gonna do is, they're gonna be 11 64 is the size of the screw. I'm gonna go ahead and re-drill those holes to 11 64 inches. This will be the top panel and this is the one that the tubes holding the blades will go through and I've just sort of gridded it out and put some small holes as guide holes. Now I want to go back and enlarge those holes so that the tubes will fit into them. I got just a little bit off on my measurements down on this end, but we're not talking any weight or any, you're not gonna be putting any pressure on them or anything. They're just little plastic tubes with a couple of ounces worth of blades in them. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I think the functionality is gonna far outweigh uh, the form on this one. I brought the top shelf up first and I laid it against the post and made sure that it fit perfectly left and right. And then I put a little small level on it, leveled it up, drew a couple of holes where the screws will go through and marked them with a punch tool. I'm gonna take an eighth inch bit and just basically drill into this board. Now I'll just take a couple of screws and go ahead and attach the top shelf. Once it's attached, I'll be able to bring the bottom shelf over and with a couple of tubes in the top shelf, adjust the height that I want it to be. Just taking a quick look at this, if I drop a couple of tubes into my shelf here, if I take it too far down, I mean, they'll be able to come out the bottom. I really don't want that. I'd like to stop that from happening. So if I take it up to about here, they'll be able to sit in there. They'll give me plenty of room to label each of the tubes. So I think this is about the height that I'm after. I'm just gonna to toss a tiny little level on there. Level it up so that it looks pretty decent. Doesn't have to be super perfect. Get a couple of holes in here. 
Now let me mark it with my marking tool and we'll drill them out and get this bottom shelf on. I really need to spend a little bit of time sorting through my blades. So for now, I just put some two-aught crown tooth blades in one of the tubes. I'll go ahead and get it labeled up, and then I can start sorting through the rest of my blades and getting them all put in individual tubes so I can keep them separate. And there you have it, a nice little storage space for my scroll saw blades. I'd really like to thank you for joining me in the shop. Uh, this is nothing super fancy, but it is definitely super functional. It's gonna allow me to get a little bit more organized. It's gonna allow me to avoid damaging my scroll saw blades because unfortunately they're not really cheap. I mean, they're not super expensive, but you know, you go pay six, seven bucks for a bag of blades. You don't want them to get damaged and never get a chance to use them. So I'm looking forward to filling these up. Uh, I've got a labeler that I'll bring out and I'll get each of them labeled so that I know what they are. Um, those, for example, are number two, are their two aught crown tooth blades by Olson, and I use a lot of these. I buy them by the gross, and uh, probably will have two or three tubes full of those, uh, along with miscellaneous other blades. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop tonight. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon, everybody, and have a great evening.